friends and welcome to the Sherkan free market action. Uh, yesterday we saw that the uh, global markets were almost getting out of at this note. Uh, the Dow closed up and Dow and Nasdaq were also closed uh, most uh, mostly in a very very flat note yesterday along with the European markets. Uh, although the uh, the crude prices have been hovering down the, the Brent crude again was getting somewhere on 78 dollars per barrel as uh, uh, they have an OPEC meeting scheduled this week and probably they are not expecting any cut in the production in the oil. So uh, that is what is worrying the overall crude prices and we have seen that uh, trending down more. So that's uh, something very positive for the Indian markets on a whole. Yesterday in the Indian markets what we have seen that uh, there was an MSCI rebalance which was happening and that's why we have seen that the cash markets, we have seen the FIS uh, positive between up around 11,068 or close in the cash market which is a provisional figure and also at the same point of time the DI is a seller between up around 700 or close. So going ahead, uh, all eyes would be on the RPI meet which will be on 2nd of December as to what action will be taken uh, as far as the monetary policy is concerned and what will be the statements by the RBI governor going ahead. Uh, for further cues and updates on the overall markets, uh, let's have a look at the derivative analysis. Good morning friends, uh, let's have a view on derivatives. After seeing a stupendous rally in the uh, in start of this series, we have seen some kind of uh, negative closing uh, for Nifty uh, in yesterday's trading session. When Nifty managed to close 0.81% uh, lower at 8466.50, mainly due to selling observed in banking, uh, autos, uh, metals and uh, infrastructure sector. Uh, and also FMCG sector. Uh, on the open interest terms, we have seen an unwinding of around half a percentage, that is around 1.47 lakh shares were uh, shared in open interest. Uh, this was uh, considered as a long unwinding by the market participants. On the cost of carry, we have seen uh, hard there was a bit dip on the since we are coming near by the uh, expiry. Uh, the premium have decreased from around uh, 4 odd points to its 3 odd points currently. And its cost of carry is around 37.33 uh, odd percentage. The main observation on the put call ratio. Uh, we have seen in the last 4 to 5 trading sessions the put call ratio have seen significant jump from around uh, 0 0.95 levels to 1.25 levels in uh, day before yesterday's trade. But in yesterday's trade, uh, since market came down by around 70 80 odd points, uh, the put writers, there was some panic uh, been observed by the put writers, and hence we have seen significant amount of unwinding in uh, put option. And simultaneously, higher strike price call option has seen good amount of uh, build up, and the put call ratio has dipped from 1.25 to 1.10 levels. And the volatility index have uh, increased uh, for, or, or, at around 4 odd percent to 13.53 levels. As mentioned in the op options activity, um, 8,500 has now became uh, the highest in terms of open interest. On the uh, day before yesterday's, we have seen uh, the position have got uh, shift from 8,500 to 8,600 call option. But uh, in yesterday's trading session, uh, due to a sharp fall, we have again seen 8,500 call option becoming quite uh, active and has seen a uh, build up of around 40 odd percentage and is now having terms of open interest. While in put option, we have seen significant amount of, uh, amount of unwinding in the uh, at the money and out of the money strike price. Uh, especially in 8500 put option which has seen significant amount of build up in last 2 to 3 trading session and was been considered some kind of support for us but has seen uh, significant amount of reduction of around 45 odd percentage however 8400 and 8300 put option has also seen good amount of reduction of around 7 to 8 percentage respectively uh, which we feel is much of a, 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 a short covering by the uh, put, put riders uh, however, 8,300 uh, put option remains as the highest in terms of open interest. Now, we will read this data as unless and until if we don't see uh, a, a, a meaningful unwinding 8,500 call option, it would be difficult uh, for the market to cross 8,500 call option in this couple of uh, trading sessions. Uh, there are three securities in bank period uh, for today's trade that is uh, GMR infrastructure, HDL, and India Bull real estate. On FIS activity in index futures, there were net sellers of 638 crores. However, open interest was up by around one and a half percentage of them, uh, indicating a mix of uh, long unwinding and some kind of short positions have been uh, built up by them. In index options, there were net buyers of 1,007 crores. In stock futures, there were net sellers of 307 crores. In stock options, there were net sellers of 126 crores. Uh, five days we have stands at 8460 with a lower range at 8450 and higher range at 8600. As this Nifty is trading negative by 19 odd points, uh, taking negative cues from the international markets and trading at uh, 8451. That concludes from my side. Thank you. 
from the training ideas for today, first and foremost, we have GM or infra equipment to go long on the news that GM or infra emerges and one bidder for this 5,000 crore Eastern dedicated freight corridor projects as a part of the asset light asset light project strategy. The GM or infra group is not required to provide any equity for the project since it is to be implemented on the EPC basis. So we come to go long in GM or infra, the stop loss of 19.5 for target of 21 and 22 today. Uh, as I already mentioned, that yesterday we saw the crude prices uh, trending down and the US crude futures actually declines to the below the US dollar 74 and the Brent crude was trading down to around 78 dollars a barrel. After the industry data showed that the US crude inventories rose by nearly 3 million barrels last week, about 6 times more than the analyst had expected. So we came to gold long in the oil marketing companies. First and foremost, we have HPCL. Uh, the previous closing was 527, so we're going to go long stock loss of 519 for target of 536 and 544. And long EPCL, the previous closing was 710, the stock loss of 697 for target of 724 and 734. Siemens came out with the results yesterday, and the results were below the estimates of both of the bottom line and the top line. So we, it's going to be it's, it was very tough year for financial year of 2014 for the company, and we're going to go short in Siemens. Uh, on the back of those negative news and the stop loss of 921 for target of 880 and 860, the previous closing was 14. On the news update, GSP, uh, GSPC and Adani Group's plan to sell 25% stake in the GSPC Adani LNG terminal. It has hit a roadblock as GSPC doesn't have a CEO to provide approvals related to the deal. On the other news, India plans to more than double the share of the renewable in the mix of fuels it consumes and effort to reduce the dominance of coal. Uh, renewables such as the solar and the wind may account for 15% of the India's energy supply in the next five years, up from 6% currently. Purvankara may join hands with JB and enter the North India. Land acquisition bill is not a part of the current uh, parliament session. Globally, Rio Tinto was moving up 2.3% amid the news of a fresh merger and merger uh, attempt from the Glencoe. Also, Moody's expects uh, the uh, sovereign credit ratings to stabilize next year as the world growth slowly picks up. And although it's uncertainty about the US interest rates rises top and of the list of the four global risks. On the stake sale, government yesterday hopes to sell. Uh, Come out where as official sources have mentioned that it hopes to sell 5% stake in ONGC by mid of December and it aims to sell around over the ONGC stake at a base 380 to 400 rupees per share. The government may also split the proposed 10% stake sale in coal India uh, into two equal tranches, uh, which was yesterday a senior official um, minister has mentioned. On the other news, Arvindo Pharma has considered and approved the raising of the funds through issue of securities up to an amount of 315 million dollars uh, through the follow-on offer, qualified institutional placement, further public offer or private placement or by such other method subject to the approval of the shareholders. Financial Technologies has entered into an agreement to sell its entire stake and warrants in the MCX SX stock exchange for 88 crores. The company has said that it has in an agreement with Rakesh Junjunwala to sell 2 crore 70 lakh equity shares constituting 4.99% of the equity capital of the exchange. Financial Technologies has also signed a separate pact with a group of 12 individuals and companies to offload 56 crores 24 lakh 60,000 bonds. On the watch list for today's profit positive bias, PFC, Petronet and Bharti and stock with negative bias for today, Mothers and Sony, Power Grid and Z. That's it friends from the pre-market action, thanks and have a nice day in